The topic of this video is mathematical models building functions. Let's look at a problem. Let p equal x comma y be a point on the graph y equals x squared minus 6. Express the distance d from p to the origin as a function of x. What is d if x equals 0? What is d if x equals 1? For what positive value of x is d smallest? Okay, great. So let's go ahead and solve this. We can see that this problem type is measuring the distance from a fixed point, the origin, to a point on a function, y equals x squared minus 6. And the method is to plug both points into the distance formula. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it is important to know that the origin is the point 0, 0. So these are the points we're plugging in, x, y, and 0, 0. We'll let this be our x2, y2, and we'll let this be our x1, y1. All right, so distance formula. x2 minus x1, all in parentheses squared, plus y2 minus y1, all in parentheses squared. Plugging in. Okay, notice that the distance formula has four places for you to put things. So let's go ahead and fill those in. All right, x2 is x, x1 is 0, y2 is y, y1 is 0. Okay, so good news. Uh, anything minus 0 is itself. So in the parentheses here, x minus 0 is just x. And then when you raise it to the power 2, you get x squared. y minus 0 is just y. When you raise that to the power 2, you get y squared. So this is d equals x squared plus y squared. Okay, now we replace y with what it equals from the problem. So we get d equals x squared plus, remember it's the y that we're replacing, so this 2 still has to be there. So instead of y squared, we're going to have x squared minus 6 squared. And of course, we're going to have to actually multiply that out. So this is going to be d equals the square root of x squared plus x squared minus 6 times another x squared minus 6. And we're going to use FOIL to multiply these two binomials together. So then we will have d equals square root of x squared plus, and let's begin, x squared times x squared, x to the fourth, x squared times a subtract 6 makes minus 6x squared, a subtract 6 times x squared makes another minus 6x squared, and a subtract 6 times a subtract 6 makes an add 36. Like terms here, here, and here. Remember that this one has a coefficient of 1, so it's 1x squared minus 6x squared minus another 6x squared. So we get x to the fourth minus 11x squared plus 36. And then finally, because the instructions say to express it as a function of x, we have to write d of x. Okay, first part done. Second part, what is d if x equals 0? All right, so if x equals 0, then we get d of 0 equals the square root of 0 to the fourth minus 11 times 0 squared plus 36. This is 0, this is 0, so underneath we just have 36. And the square root of 36 is 6. So when x is 0, the distance is 6. Next part. OK, what is d if x is 1? Well, we know d of x is equal to the square root of x to the fourth minus 11x squared plus 36. So d of 1 would be 1 to the 4th minus 11 times 1 squared plus 36. 1 to the 4th is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 11 is 11. It's being subtracted. All right, so let's see if we can figure this out. 1 minus 11, negative 10, plus 36 is 26. So we get square root of 26. This cannot be simplified. Uh, the only factors that make 26 are 2 and 13. Those are both prime. There's no pairs. 
So this is the exact final correct answer. And then the last question says, for what positive value of x is d smallest? And we have to use our graphing utility in order to do that. Remember, I'm recommending that you use the graphing utility Desmos, www.desmos.com. And we will do that in the next video.